So right now I'm here in activity underscore main dot XML and this is a design mode and so I'm gonna go and change to the text mode just by clicking on the bottom of the screen and we're gonna select text and so uh, I'm just gonna click on that and as you can see right here we have a couple of things we have this table layout and then we have a row and uh, this is the closing tag for that row as you can see it has a slash and so that means it's a closing tag this is an opening tag and so what's contained in it is just uh, the content that is in the first row and that is my text view that represents the title and if you want we can just see this on a preview if you open this uh, preview from the right side it would be much better to see what's displayed on the screen so as you can see we have as we select this text view we're gonna have this uh, new text selected just right there now if you go and select uh, let's say um, the next text view that is contained also into table rows in uh, this uh, opening tag and closing tag for the next table row as you click on this one you can see that the second one is selected and so on and this gives us a clue as uh, what we can uh, change and uh, shows also what is uh, changed on the screen and so we're gonna go right now and start to change the IDs of every single element and uh, the first one is just the title so first of all let's change the text we're gonna just type in hangman and uh, as I type in hangman we can see that we have uh, this text changed and uh, also we can change the ID so that uh, instead of calling it ID text view we can call it txt title and as you can see by default the IDs are text view then text view 2, text view 3, text view 4 and so on and we don't want to have that because uh, we won't really know to which uh, element we are referring to so that's why I'm just gonna go and uh, change this one and in order to change it in all our application we should rather go and right click it and then go to refactor and then rename and if you do this it's gonna be changed in all your application otherwise it's just gonna be changed in one place but in no other place so that's gonna be a problem and always if you want to rename something just use refactor rename and then we're gonna type in instead of text view just txt and then title so that we know this is our title and then you can click refactor and uh, as you can see it just uh, changed so at this moment we have uh, the ID of uh, our title uh, set up and we're gonna go to the next uh, uh, text view and uh, this one basically represents the word to be guessed I'm just gonna call it my word and so we're gonna have this displayed on the screen as you can see it right here and right now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna change the ID just by clicking on it and then I'm gonna go and right click refactor rename and I'm gonna just say txt word to be guessed okay so that's the naming convention that I'm using and uh, usually when you have a text view you just use txt so uh, as I click refactor it just changed right here no changes on the screen but just for the, the ID is just for us so that we know to which element we refer and then we have this edit text and for this edit text as you can see we have um, two things we have this ID and uh, the layout column so this specifies that um, this edit text is uh, positioned in column 0 from its row and uh, it is as you can see right here it is in the third row and uh, the third row has uh, index 2 and uh, the column index is 0 because it's the first element in that column and so this moment we're gonna go and change its ID and so instead of having it named edit text we're gonna go and refactor rename and we're gonna just say EDT and that stands for edit text and then input because that's the input that we have um, in our application and I'm gonna just hit enter and also I want to display some text right there so I'm gonna go and um, the text that I'm gonna be displaying just before the user um, input something is gonna be called a hint so I'm gonna type in Android hint and then I'm gonna say um, input one letter 
and as you will see we have this displayed right here input one letter but then when the user clicks there and uh, types something then uh, this text will disappear so it's just like a hint just like a placeholder um, in the web design so that's basically how it works okay so as we have this we can go right now to the next one and the next one is this text view that I just said we're gonna be using for um, displaying a list of the letters that were tried by the user and so we're gonna just type in uh, right here um, letters used and then um, colon and as you can see that's what it appeared on the screen and for the ID we can just go and right click it and then refactor rename and so we're gonna call it txt and then uh, letters um, letters tried okay and as I change it uh, I change the ID right here and I should rather just uh, name this instead of letters used just letters tried it would be more meaningful and so that's what I have on the screen at this moment and then finally we have uh, the last text view and I just said that I'm gonna use this in order to display the number of tries that are left and so I can use also a number right here to display let's say five tries and then when the user makes a mistake it's gonna be set to four and so on but I just want to use some uh, sort of uh, text in order to display this so I'm gonna type in space and then X in the capital and then another space X and so on and I'm just gonna type in five of them so that the user starts with five tries and then we're gonna decrease two characters and then another two characters and another two and so on up to when the string becomes empty so that's why I'm just using right here a space um, at the beginning because I want to have um, a number that is a multiple of two so every time the user makes a mistake I'm just gonna uh, take out two characters and so on and so that's how it's gonna be working and as you can see we have this uh, already right here on the screen okay and also I wanna change this from text view 4 that's not a meaningful ID so that's why I'm gonna go right click refactory name and I'm gonna call it txt and then I'm just gonna say uh, tries left so how many tries the user uh, still has left and finally we have this button and for the button I'm just gonna call it reset and so as you can see the text just changed for this button and then finally for the ID instead of having it called button I'm gonna go and refactory name and I'm gonna say btn that's the shortcut for button and then reset Okay, so right now I have uh, everything set up.